Right, so if you were wondering why there isn't any background music and why I'm wearing my headphones, okay, that's because today we are going to do more sound effects. So, good morning or good evening, everyone, depending on which part of the world you are from. Okay, my name is David, and as usual, I will be your host for today. Okay, so let's continue on with adding the rest of the sound effects to stars. Okay, but before we do that, okay, let's see where we are at with the sound effects. Okay, so as you can hear, I've added a sound effect for when Big Team jumps and when he shakes the screen. Okay, which means that you need to add the sound effect for when Big Thief use, uses his projectile attack and when he spawn his minions. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so. Let's see. Okay, so when Big Thief uses his projectiles attack, okay, we have a few candidates for that. This, 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 and this. Okay, but Let's open up garage band first. Okay, just checking that the stream is still working, okay? Because sometimes the frames might not go through. Okay, so this is what I have so far for when Big Thief uses his projectile attack. Okay, let's mix it up with another sound effect, which is this. Okay, and see what we'll get.
Okay, let's export the, the file. Okay, we will use Audacity to change the format to WAV. Okay, so now you can copy and paste the file to the game project and okay this is the new imported sound effect file okay so to use it in the game we need to go back to the script over here Okay, public float or rather Okay, shoot projectile clip Okay, over here we will call sound manager to play the sound effect. And we also need to drag and drop the sound effect, the audio clip to the enemy screen. Okay, boss. So, okay, this is the slot which we will have to drag it into. So let's see where is the audio file over here. Okay, drag and drop. And now let's test it within the game. So as you can hear, that is the sound effect that is played when Big Thief uses his projectiles attack. Okay, but you might notice that there's something missing from it. And that is when his projectiles hit. When, he pro when his projectiles hit anything, they seem to be lacking something and that is a sound effect as well okay so that's what we will do next so we have okay as usual we have a few candidates for that
Okay, underscore hit. Okay, we will use this as the raw sound effect file. Okay, but we will reduce the volume slightly. Then we will use Audacity to convert the format of the file again. Now that we have the audio clip, okay, we need to add it to the game. And the way we add it is different from just now where we add it inside the enemy script. Okay, now we will add it inside the enemy attack script. Okay, so that it can be used for other enemies which attacks using a projectile as well. Okay, projectile hit clip. Okay, which means that we need a sound manager and a sound effects player. Okay, just checking OBS. Okay, the purpose of the sound effects player is just to provide an audio source to play the sound effect because if we do not do that by the time the enemy attack hits a wall, a tower or when it hits you it will be destroyed and you will not be able to use its audio source to play the sound effect So over here, we will call Sound Manager to play the sound effect using the Sound Effects Player audio source and the projectile hit clip. Okay, so let's go back to Unity and for our enemy attack, which this we'll drag and drop the audio for the attack when the attack hits. Okay, so now let's test it. And this also means that we'll need to add two audio clips for our brick head one of the enemies that shoots bricks from his mouth
Okay, but let's test the sound effects that we have just added for Big Thief. So it doesn't seem like the sound effect is playing. And let's check out why. Okay, that doesn't seem to be any error related to the sound effects. So let's see what went wrong. Okay, audio projectile hit clip. Okay, let's close all of this first because we have too many open at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so just now when each projectile hits, we should be able to hear this. But we did not hear it, so it might mean that we have run out of audio sources. So maybe what we can do is to give the enemy attack. their own audio source okay Okay, which means that we do not need our sound effects player anymore. Okay. But now that we are using now that we are using the enemy's attack own audio source, we cannot destroy the game object right away. So we have to set a delay. before destroying it okay but before destroying it we need to ha change its location so that it is it does not affect the gameplay area anymore. Okay, transform dot position goes to new vector to minus fifty minus fifty.
All right, let's try if this works or not. One, two, three. Okay, so as you can see, the enemy attack script also affects the prefect for the breakhead enemy. So we have to add an audio source to it as well. There is no audio source attack Okay Attached to a Hmm, that's weird, even though we have the audio source here It says that There is no audio source attached Okay, that's weird. Oh, okay. So what I think what it meant was this. Okay, because okay, we have a separate enemy attack script attached to the enemy itself. So we need to add an audio source here. And we need to drag and drop the audio clip here as well. Which means that this requires an audio source as well. Okay, now it should work.
Hmm, okay, it doesn't seem like the sound effect for when the projectile